Okay, here we are with a, uh, a running GNS setup for the lab. You can see we've got all sorts of different windows open. Each one of these windows corresponds to a specific one of the machines that we're simulated. So we can we can log into any of these. I'm going to do all of this on the Wellington machine, um, and we log in just by typing the username and password, which in this case is root root followed by root. And uh, you'll notice on Linux machines that the password doesn't appear as you type it still being recognized and assuming I didn't type it in wrong which of course I did there we go and uh, now we're in and we should be able to see stuff like this um, I will uh, I'll move this slightly and change the view so it's slightly slightly easier to read and we're just going to scale this up to 150% so we'll put it front and center um, so once we're on a machine we can uh, interrogate it to interrogate it using any of our standard Linux commands. So we can type ls to see what, um, what kind of files are in the folder that we're in, but more specifically we can type ifconfig and that will give us the wireless, um, sorry, the, the network interface information for this computer. Um, what we can see is there, this has a, a few different interfaces and to navigate on these machines if you hold down shift and push page up you'll scroll up and shift and page down will, will page down so that will allow you to navigate up and down through, through the terminal. But um, what we can see for this computer is that it has three interfaces, F0, F1 and LO. The top one has the IP address 10.0.1.2 the F1 has the IP address 192.168.56.2 and the local loopback interface as always has the IP address 127.0.0.1 and just as a reminder we can use a tool like ifconfig and we can use the pipe character which is above the enter key on our keyboard and um, we can pipe that through to our grep tool and we can get just specific lines. So, for example, if you look at the F1 interface there, notice that the line with the IP address on it is the only line in this entire file that has the four letters Bcast on it. So if I just search for those four letters by typing Bcast down here, I get returned the two lines pertaining to the specific IP addresses of this machine and excluding the local loopback one. So in order to answer those first questions I can just use that and this machine uh, specifically has two IP addresses 10.0.1.2 um, and 192.168.56.2. Now just to finish up I'm going to show you a similar example but on the New Plymouth uh, gateway. Uh, the reason I'm going to choose the New Plymouth gateway is that if you have a look at the lab script you'll see the New Plymouth gateway uh, is actually connected to a number of different um, computers. So here's New Plymouth gateway, I'm just going to log into it once again. I have config and you can see this has a whole host of different interfaces. So we've got F0, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6 and low. Um, any gateway or router will have a variety of different IP addresses and that's because for every different network it is a member of it needs an, an IP address on that network. I'm going to use that same command that I did before and type grep and then b cast and that will summarize all of those for me. I can see that the IP addresses that this machine has is 4.2, 6.2, 11.2, 9.1, 13.1, 10.1, and 192.168.56.2. Um, so the last one you can see is on that background network that we mentioned, and the 123456 up the top are all members of the other networks. So we'll finish up this recording there, and I'll uh, show you how to make changes in the next video.